Hello everybody, my name is Virus Little, but I am back to bring you guys another video. Today we will be looking at my next video in my Windows Whistler series. Today we will be looking at Windows Whistler 2419, that's the build number. So let's take a look at some of the new things and improvements that have been happening in Windows Whistler. So as you can see, Windows Whistler kind of has, now it's starting to say Windows Whistler. There's no more branding inconsistencies. Not as many this time, which is really, really cool, which I really do enjoy. So here we go. So we see Windows Whistler Professional Setup. Setup is copying the files. Alrighty, let's take a look. So let me give you guys somewhere where this build was compiled. I'm going to be going off the BIOS date, as always. We're, so this build was probably compiled on January 14th, 2001. Now as you can see, one of the brand new things that we have is a new setup screen, startup screen, which is really, really cool. It's definitely broken from the Windows 2000-esque style instead of the bullets and all that. It's kind of broken away from that more, which is really cool. And we're starting to kind of see that dark screen with the Windows logo, which we kind of see in the Windows RTM, in the Windows XP RTM version. As you can see, the Windows setup is starting to look a lot like the actual Windows RTM setup, which is really interesting. Very, very cool. So let me give you guys some of the new things that, is af that have actually changed in this Windows Whistler build. So this build features a new boot screen, and the GUI setup of the setup of the stage setup is now more like the final Windows XP setup, as you guys can see. The UB or U O O B E has replaced Whistler with Clouds, and Merlin is still present. So we have Merlin in here. The watercolor theme has not been changed, and the test visual styles char oh i'm sorry guys chartrace chartrace i guess so i'm sorry for mispronouncing that mongoose and blue lagoon are still present the control panel has had a major revamp with icons and style and visiting the local c and system folders are hidden but you can unhide it at system tasks in the left bar and windows activation now opens but it's broken because it hasn't been fully implemented yet so very cool things new features that we can see in this new build 2419 of windows xp or whistler very very interesting so let me try and get through this setup as I see work groups or domains. Very, very interesting. Here we go. Can we continue, please? <laughs> I really do wish I could continue this because, you know, Windows XP and we kind of want to get to Windows Windows XP. We want to get to the end of it and hit Windows Longhorn, which should be fun. What am I on errors? Oh, who cares? It's fine. <laughs> it's all fine. No worries about that. Alrighty. So... Microsoft codename Whistler. Interesting. So here we go. We're starting in the operating system. We're going to be going into the next stage of the setup, which is connecting it to the internet and activating it, quote unquote. Very, very interesting. So we're going to try that. Alrighty. Let's give this a quick shot. Okay. Going to zoom out so you guys can get into a better resolution and we can actually see the actual Windows builds. So here we go. Let's take a quick peek here. Very interesting. Alrighty. Let's see. Let's see. Windows Whistler. Ah, here we go. It says the Windows Whistler setup right here. It's giving us a bit of a more of that little splash screen. Here we go. The Windows flag has actually changed a little bit. Not too much to a big degree, but it has changed just slightly. Alright. Hi, I'm Merlin. So here we go. This will actually connect us to the internet, which is really cool. We don't have to do it inside the program. We can still do it here. Very, very cool interesting so let's continue on with this windows product activation okay no please remind me to activate later <laughs> Alrighty. now the reason i chose that is because well windows activation is implemented but it just doesn't really i guess you can say it just doesn't work very well it's in here but it's not fully implemented just yet so we'll be doing that later and then again i'm pretty sure the microsoft activation servers for windows xp have pretty much been shut down especially these ones for the beta builds i don't think they exist anymore <laughs> if they do i'm going to be really really surprised actually there we go welcome applying your personal settings interesting so we still have the new wall we have still have a bow of the new startup screen here we got the wallpaper that we couldn't get working last time <laughs> great times with that build Alrighty, so let me see. Oh, okay, so the GUI has changed a little bit. It's a little bit more different than last time. Very interesting. Let's take a look. Do, 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 do. Let me change the actual resolution so you guys can have a better view of this. You guys can read everything better, and you guys don't have to squint your eyes and just try and 
read what's going on here. Alrighty, let me zoom out for you guys on here. And everything's looking relatively nice. Alright, let me quickly go into full screen and then I'll zoom out a little bit more. And we can get started with exploring this new build of Windows XP. Really awesome. Alrighty, let's take a look. Uh, let me move this recycling bin right here. Alrighty, so everything looks kind of the same. Okay, the start menu still hasn't changed a little bit. Uh, the, the start menu did change. The actual when you pop it up, but the flag hasn't changed. The button hasn't really changed that much. Okay, so it looks like it's starting to gain almost all of the icons for Windows XP. Okay, this is a really good jump. Here's Microsoft Windows Whistler. Here's the release notes for you guys. Not gonna read them, unfortunately. <laughs> All right, so, okay, help and support looks a little different. Let's take a look. Oh, would you look at that. Help and support has a completely different look. It's starting to look more or less just like the help and support that we would have in Windows XP. It's starting to quickly go into that change, and it's going to be really interesting. All right, so the start menu looks relatively the same. Nothing too, too different about it just yet, actually. Everything still looks relatively the same. Alrighty, here we go, here we go. MSN Messaging Services. Okay, I'm not gonna sign up for that one, guys. <laughs> Sorry, not today. Alrighty, so let's take a look at accessibility. Everything else looks relatively the same. Uh, the GUI did change a little bit. The icons are definitely starting to go into more of the Windows XP style. Here's Windows Media Player. Doesn't that look like the Windows Media Player you guys remember? I'm pretty sure there's a couple of viewers out there that actually do remember what windows xp used to look like and the window and the old old windows media player i'm pretty sure you guys remember that <laughs> very interesting Alrighty, so let's take a look let's take a look see here um okay come on let's try and continue to look on here all right so let's see the about dialogue and check out what it looks like here Alrighty. so um, Okay, so here's our about dialog. 2419 is the build number. So let's keep exploring a little bit. It's gonna be a little. It's gonna, this is actually a lot of information that we have here on Windows on this build. We have a lot of stuff to cover here and a lot of stuff to explore, which is really cool. And it's good for you guys because it's a longer video for you guys. And I'm pretty sure you guys would love to see more of this. Alrighty, so let's take a look. Let's go into the Windows folder and see what we can find here. Um. Okay, so this is really cool. <laughs> I love it. Alrighty, so let's take a look. Okay, so let's try and go into the Windows System 32 folder. As you can see, it's still kind of like having that default of hiding system files, and it's pretty much prompting you every single time to try to just, you know, be like, hey, don't, your files are over here, you shouldn't be here. But I mean, really cool. It's usually for like consumers and stuff like that. For, so people don't go snooping around and they actually try and break their computer because that's really bad if you break your computer I mean uh, And you and you have to reinstall everything and if you didn't do any backups You're pretty much have nothing else to do and all you have is just a broken computer. Oh So sad Anyways, let's keep taking a look <laughs> All right, so here's the prototype for the Windows Tour. I believe in the next two weeks you guys will be able to see the actual Windows Tour, the prototype of the Windows Tour, much, much better than right now. You guys will be able to check out the... Yeah, you guys will be able to see the Windows Tour. You guys will be able to see the prototype of it and see what it looks like. Really cool. I'm pretty sure you guys will enjoy that. That'll be in the next two weeks, I believe. Um, I hope I'm right on that. <laughs> Alrighty, so let's keep looking. Alright, let's see. Da, 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 da. I just rewinded it. <laughs> okay, alright. No more Windows Tour. Microsoft, you've been screwing around like here. Alright, let's go. <laughs> let's go back into the operating system. Alright. Control panel. Control panel looks a lot different from the last time we've seen it. As you can see, the GUI has been improved and it's starting to look more or less like the regular old control panel that we know and we love and see today. Really interesting. And I really do enjoy it. Internet connection. Did it not connect us to the internet? Are you kidding me? Okay, Microsoft, you lied to me. You did not connect my computer to the internet. Come on. Why did you have to do that to me? I'm disappointed in you. It's a beta build. Who cares? I think they're off the hook now. Alrighty, you're trying to access the internet. Uh, Google does not work. Okay, cool. Um, I didn't want to go to Google anyway. It's okay. Here's the Microsoft Internet Explorer actual dialog box. So you guys can kind of see the version number. Here we go. So it looks more or less just like the same control panel here. I do believe they did add something real quick. Let me check real here. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Yes, they did. They added the Windows firewall here. Well, 
It's like the one in Windows Neptune. All you got to do is just tick a box on the connection and you've got a firewall. So as you can still see the remnants of Neptune, you can still kind of see the Neptune project just kind of, you know, just kind of sneaking up there saying, hey, I was a thing. Don't you guys remember me? Really cool. Very interesting, and I'm pretty sure the beta testers who got Windows Neptune and got this build as well, they would remember, oh, this is where we got Windows Neptune, pretty much the same. We got System Restore, oh, another feature that came from Windows ME, and that was ultimately put in to Windows XP. Really interesting. So starting applications in compat compatibility mode. I'm sorry, I almost butchered that word. Interesting. All right, so the help topics look a lot like the actual Windows XP help topics. Very interesting. Alrighty, so it's giving us like help on how to deal with the debugging tool such as Dr. Watson, which was a debugging tool So we can work with Dr. Watson. Very very interesting. Cool. Alrighty So, um, okay. I never got to show you guys Outlook that much in my videos I kind of regret not showing you guys Outlook unfortunately I feel really 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 bad for not showing you guys Outlook I would it would have been really cool if I should have showed you guys Outlook back in my Windows 95 series so you guys can see the development of Outlook but I mean I guess we can start somewhere do you guys remember when Outlook used to look like this I'm pretty sure there's a lot of older viewers that of mine that actually know when Outlook used to look at that time really cool and very interesting all right so let's take a look at oh they have Windows Media Player I believe yeah they have Windows Media Player, and then they have Windows Movie Maker. Woo! Don't you guys remember when you used to use movies window ma Windows Movie Maker? Wow. Windows Movie Maker. Yes. I almost butchered that again because I'm getting ahead of myself. So, we have the actual About dialog box. It's giving us a little start, kind of introducing you to what Windows Media Player is all about. Very, very interesting. And here's the video that came with it. I don't have any sound, so you guys won't be able to hear what is going on here. However, I'm pretty sure most of you have seen this video or are able to find it on YouTube. So you guys can check out to see what it says. It doesn't really, it's not really anything. It's just sound. That's it. It's kind of just showing off the abilities that Windows Movie Maker pretty much has that Microsoft wanted to show off, which is really interesting. It was really cool. I mean, I used to remember when people back in the day used to use Windows Movie Maker all the time to make their videos, and it was perfectly fine because they were high quality still. Anyways, that's all I have for you guys today. Thank you guys so much for watching this next episode of my Windows Whistler series. Please rate, comment, and subscribe, and hit those notifications so you guys know when my next video comes out. Follow my Twitter so you guys can also communicate with me and know when my next video is coming out. Thank you guys so much for watching, and thank you guys for all the love and support you guys have been giving me. Again, thank you guys so very much for staying with me. And as always, Virus Alertable, signing off.